Hundreds turned out to catch a glimpse of the famous QE2 as she sailed down the Tyne on her final voyage. Well, there isn't going to be another. I mean, once she leaves for Dubai, that's it. This is the last British liner doing a last lap round Britain's coastline. You've got to be there. Waving goodbye is the ship's captain, who admitted it was a proud but sad time. How has it been in charge for the final voyage around the British Isles? Um, mixed emotions. Um, very proud to be here, of course, but a little bit of sadness as well as the ship draws to the end of her working life. And obviously you're a local lad as well. How does it feel to be back in the North East? It's great. On a day like this, it's fantastic. And um, I I'm always so pleased when people come back from ashore and say how much they've enjoyed their visit here to North Shields and into Newcastle as well. So they really enjoy the North East. We've got a lot to be proud of here. The QE2 arrived in the North East as part of her final voyage around the British Isles before she heads off to Dubai as a floating hotel. Now tourism bosses say they hope to match the success of hosting the famous Cunard liner. The cruise lines will obviously ask, once we get a ship in there, where can we go, what can we do? And we're able to actually say, think of the Roman Wall, Bamburgh, Holy Island, uh, Annick Castle, Annick Gardens, Durham, uh, and obviously the city centre of Newcastle, which in itself is an attraction to a lot of people.